despite mounting popular pressure against France's controversial pensions reform, Édouard Philippe has so far refused to back down. My determination and that of the government is unwavering. But as the French Prime Minister meets with union leaders for bilateral talks on Wednesday, and after nearly two weeks of strikes that have paralyzed the country, it may be time for the government to start making concessions. Philippe's main goal will be to get this man on board, Laurent Berger, head of the CFDT, France's biggest union, and one of the few that's not opposed to the idea of reforming the pension system. Yet convincing the CFDT would likely require the government to soften its stance on several sticking points, including setting a pivot retirement age of 64 years old, a measure which Berger has repeatedly criticized. It won't be enough to make us support this reform, but what is certain is that in order to hold talks in the weeks to come, the pivot age of 64 must be withdrawn. Yet even reaching a compromise with the moderate CFDT may not be enough to end the strikes. A majority of railway workers belong to more hardline unions like the CGT, which are demanding the law be dropped altogether. After Tuesday's massive showing, in which several hundred thousands of people took to the streets in protest, and with the majority of the French population saying they support the strike, hardline unions say the ball is now in the government's court.